She did a thing with them. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> As you can see, I've been doing quite a bit of shopping that includes groceries and snacks, but also some things that I picked up when it comes to fashion and style, beauty and care, and even a couple of miscellaneous items. So I know it's been a really long time since I shared my recent pickups here on this channel. So I decided what better time than to share all of those things with you right now. What's up y'all, Everyday Cachet here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here I help you live every day stylishly. So as I just mentioned, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that I recently picked up it has been over the last maybe month or two okay because I wanted to try the items before I actually recommended them to you but I'm super excited to share with you a couple of accessories some clothing items that I picked up some perfumes and fragrances some body and beauty care items all of the above be sure to go ahead and get your notes out okay jot down the things that you like go down to the description box to shop those items because they will be linked below and I may get a small commission off of your purchase and let's get into it so if you're not new to my channel, then you know I have a huge affinity and love for sneakers. And even so much so that I've dedicated a totally separate channel for my love of sneakers alone. So if you're interested in catching some sneaker reviews, check out this one that I recommend you watch next. But I went ahead and picked up some sneakers, but these are not the typical sneakers that you'll see me talking about over on the Cachet's kickstand. These are the Nike Metcons, and I'm super excited because I needed a new workout sneaker, or at least something that was gonna motivate me to work out, let's be clear. I've been having my eye on these for maybe the last year or so, and I was finally able to get them in my size in black and white they come in a myriad of colors but this for me just screams Nike I don't know about y'all but I love wearing black and white Nike attire to my workouts got the Nike dry fit hat a Nike plus size running shirt the Nike 7 8 leggings and then these Metcons Chris I just feel like an athlete and I know that that's what Nike wants you to feel like while you're wearing their garments and that is just exactly what I feel like so needed something to inspire me to get back in the gym or at least to move my body and feel active actually see to those new year's resolutions that you know we all probably have set and ain't thought about them since we did set them <laughs> but yes they retailed for about a hundred twenty dollars I don't believe any more than that and perfect fit love the way they feel and can't wait to actually put them to great use now these are one of four recent sneaker purchases, so be sure to check out Cachet's kickstand if you're interested in seeing more of what I've added into my collection. Let's move on to the next item. So we're gonna jump into some accessories and I'm super excited to jumpstart the accessory section with a piece that I have had for a couple of months now and I'm so disappointed in myself for not having styled it sooner, but it is this Aware brand snapback hat. It is so good. So I actually met a couple of the Aware brand owners out on the yard at Jiho back in October. And I took one of their cards and I was like, you know what, y'all are into streetwear and really trying to get people to just be more aware about who they are and what they contribute to the world. And that's a message I could get behind. So I said that I would check them out. And when I did, I was like, oh yeah, some of these items are tough. They've got like a really cool like Letterman style or aviator jacket. Um, they have these cool hats. They've got Got some phenomenal like crew necks and t-shirts and stuff so definitely check them out this is not sponsored but I'm so glad that I followed up and actually looked at their brand because it's just super dope I mean look at that and I know this may lend itself to being perhaps a hat that you would traditionally see like a man wearing but I'm just really excited to kind of juxtapose some of the traditionally masculine accessories with super feminine garments and pieces especially as we get through the rest of winter because I can lay up and add some additional things without feeling a little too warm okay because I'm a sweaty Betty <laughs> I do intend to wear this with my Air Jordan lost and found so you will probably see this hat styled with that but of course you can wear a snapback whenever you want to and with what you want right on a bad hair day or if you're actually trying to utilize this to style up a fit so super glad I grabbed this I don't believe it was more than 50 bucks but definitely worth the purchase I got some other hats as well so let's take a look at those now okay Okay, so next up we have this beautiful bucket hat and I'm super excited because this was gifted to me from one of my sorority sisters, my line sister Jessica. Love you boo. Um, so she got me this hat because I put it on my Ulster. I have been wanting, you know, just a super fun bucket hat. Look at that. 
Boy, that, that girl head big, ain't it? But I'm excited about what we gonna do with this. Um, there are plenty of ways that you could like wear your bucket hat. You could obviously do it the 1990s kind of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air way with the like flipped front, but like Hillary and some other women wore their hats like that. Or you could just wear it down. In either instance, I think this is gonna be really cute. It retails on Amazon for less than $20. And of course it's linked down below, but I love this. And this burgundy, oh, you're gonna see in a minute, but yeah, this is everything. I have every color in this hat, like some piece of clothing that I can wear with this. So I'm excited to actually style this up. And yeah, it just kind of brings a little bit of fun and pizzazz to what we know as streetwear. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this down in the comments below. Okay, so next up are a couple of toboggans that I grabbed from Urban Outfitters. You may see the orange tag floating down there at the bottom of these hats because baby, I caught these on sale. I don't think I paid more than like two or three bucks for these. They were $4.99 and then I got 50% off of each one of these. When I went out for a day of fun, exploring Raleigh with my mentee, Emily, we stopped at Urban Outfitters and I had to grab these hats. I believe they were $4.99, but I did get 50% off of each hat. So, I mean, hey, for $7.50, like you can't be mad, right? So I got three of these toboggans in super fun color these are definitely gonna match my Yeezy 350s. I am still wearing my Yeezys, okay? But the 350 V2 frozen yellows, um, I'm definitely looking forward to like styling this orange up. Look, I could probably do a little play off of what I'm wearing currently. And then you can never go wrong with gray. I will say that the quality might be a little questionable over time, but for $2.50, baby, ain't nobody worried. So those are some hats that I picked up from Urban Outfitters. And I did pick up some other items from Urban and I was actually quite pleased with them because I haven't shopped Urban in a really long time. So I also grabbed a pair of these gloves. They have the little like cutouts, so they're really almost like mittens, hand warmers or something like that. See, like this. And we have had some fluctuating weather in North Carolina, so I was like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna miss an opportunity to style these up. And because they are this brown color, I usually gravitate toward like browns, turquoises, rust, or like burnt oranges in and outside of fall. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely grabbing these. These were also on sale, $2.50. And then lastly, so I shared with y'all that bucket hat earlier and this will match. I'm so thankful again to my line sister for grabbing that for me because this scarf actually matches it and i'm super excited about the pockets on each side of the scarf isn't that just so fun i think i paid maybe about ten dollars for this scarf not even about five bucks y'all so and it's it's pretty heavy nice and super soft so again to combat some of that super cold weather i'm looking forward to pairing some of these warm winter accessories with my outfits to just zhuzh them up a little bit but also to be functional and stay super warm that doesn't quite do it for my winterized accessories though. I did actually grab another scarf and this one I actually grabbed from eBay, I have to admit, and I know y'all don't kill me. This is probably one of the first or like few items that I have bought that are inauthentic, but I just loved the colors and I was like, yeah, I need to go ahead and grab it before, you know, I don't have access to it. It is this scarf. It is so cute and it is a, an Acne Studios. <laughs> or like it's a it's like an acne studios <laughs> scarf but look at that oh my god look at the colors <gasps> so good what is this on it piece of paper oh my god y'all so good those colors are everything they're like light and airy colors you know what i mean mixed with kind of that deep brown and deep kind of burnt orange it's just i'm excited to style this up i already have some ideas of where i'm going to wear this i'm going to the mountains in a couple of weeks so i'm looking forward to wearing this particular scarf then but also just in general like i'm looking forward to wearing the scarf it does have this acne studios label on it like so but y'all i paid roughly about 16 or 17 dollars for it so we know the acne studios can typically run a, a pretty penny okay so um be Beware as you are shopping with particular sellers, just do your research and see, you know, which sellers 
are indeed the ones that are, I guess, reputable. <laughs> but this is my first time buying from eBay in a really, really long time. And I bought this scarf off of the strength of seeing the colors and not necessarily about the brand. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping, but definitely worth the pickup, I would recommend. All right, so as I mentioned, there are quite a few more accessories. So let's get into a couple pair of socks that I picked up. I'm actually gonna share them maybe in tandem. If you're following me over on Instagram, you would have already seen these B Iconic socks by the Iconic Ash. Okay, we love her. We stand a streetwear stylist queen. She's just so, 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 so good. So I picked up these socks because I knew that with gray, I could like easily style these up. They were, I believe about $15 from her site and you get two packs or two pair in a pack. <laughs> So um, definitely worth the purchase. They are super comfortable. They feel good. The quality right at the heel, you know, you sometimes can put a hole in the heel over time. Ain't seen that happen. <laughs> so I'm really loving these. This is my second pair. And I'm trying to wear the other ones out before I jump into these, but they're just so hard because they're easily stylable with everything. I wear these with my New Balances, my Wave Runners, my Frozen Yellows. I, be, I just be throwing these things on. They're comfortable. So I would recommend you check her out if you're not familiar and get you a pair of socks among other things. She's got tons of like super, super dope clothing. She's just a dope individual. So be sure to head on over to her shop. And speaking of another black queen, we stand Miss Badu. Check out these Badu socks that I picked up from the Badu World Market on Erica Badu's website. Um, these are just everything. They're like the new America socks. And I don't know if you all are familiar, but Erica Badu is, she kind of up there as one of my like favorite artists now. It's a couple of other folks in that room, obviously Beyonce, Jasmine Sullivan, Anita Baker. So many folks, but Jill Scott, but Erica is definitely in the number. Um, of course, some gospel artists too. But when I saw these socks, I just like randomly stumbled upon Badu World Market one day. And when I saw these socks, I was like, oh yeah, give me them. <laughs> like, I just think these are such a fun pair of socks. I will say that these are printed on, as you can see. Like, so when you stretch, they kind of lose a little bit of that color quality, but I don't feel like they are going to do so so much that I'm not able to like wear them and get the idea, right? Or that like people wouldn't be able to make out what I got on, but aren't these fun? Oh, so good. And then they just have the black bottom and like heel tabs. So good. These were about I think 18 or 20 bucks, maybe a little more expensive than what I would typically pay for a pair of socks. But with shipping, I don't think I pay more than $25. And I was looking at these, I mean, they had been in an open tab in Safari, like on my phone for months. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pull the trigger and get these things. And I'm glad that I did because I have quite a few looks that I know I can rock with those socks. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> All right, so those are a couple of my wearable accessories. When it comes to jewelry though, there is a piece that I picked up recently for a shoot that I did. So I was asked to be a guest on the Black Fly on the Wall podcast and I was told that the topic would be, what do women bring to the table? And y'all know if you are not new here that Home by Ariel is one of my favorite jewelry designers and like curators. So I went back over to her Macy's collaboration and y'all check this out. If we talking about what you bring to the table, baby, look at this choker necklace. Oh my goodness. Oh, so cool. So it kind of sits like you wear it like this almost, like you see that? And I thought I was like a little nervous at first about like how it would wear, but y'all let me know what y'all think because everybody else like while shooting the podcast, they loved it. They were like, oh my God, I thought those are earrings, but that's such a dope concept of like something that you would wear. And like, you know, I just, I was like, oh shit, like I really did a thing. <laughs> but I like this choker. I think it's super neat and something that you wouldn't typically think to wear or like typically grab for in your jewelry. And I love that all of her designs have black women in mind, have black culture in mind, and just speak to the experience of like the intersectionality of being black and woman. So definitely love this piece. Typically pieces in her traditional collection can run anywhere upwards to about $350, but this is why it's so integral to like check the description box because this particular piece didn't cost me over $35. 
literally a tenth of the cost, right? So definitely check for that link down below if you're interested in saving some money on some of her pieces. If you want to, you know, just get into maybe some cool jewelry and some standout pieces, but don't want to break the bank. But speaking of black women designers, this next piece is actually a piece of clothing. It is a top and it's made by one of our favorite black woman designers, Hanifa. So I picked up the Sia cropped sweater, y'all, this knit piece with the super, super long bell top, really like bell bottom, arms <laughs> and sleeves, y'all. Everything. Now, I'ma just keep it a hundred, okay? I done gained a little weight. I gained some of my little weight back. So she not fitting the way I want her. If I'm being honest, she's a little more snug, but she does fit and I'm super excited to wear this. Oh my gosh, can you just... J I might have mentioned this particular sweater over on Cachet's kickstand when I talked about styling it with this shoe. Look at that. Oh, who, who not? Who not about to wear that? Like that could just be so dope. But I also have this really, really cute heel that has like a little feather action across the toe. And I just, it could, it could be a vibe. So I definitely am loving this sweater. I think it's gonna be one that I will wear over and over and time and time again. And y'all, I have long arms. Y'all know I talk about that often on this channel, baby. Look at that. Like <laughs> we, Look at, look, long. <laughs> they are so long and I'm so appreciative. They hang well past, but it gives, you know, just a um, super loose fit vibe, but still something that's very like dainty and feminine and sexy. So I'm definitely excited about styling this up and wearing this sweater. Be sure to follow me on Instagram so you get a good look, girl. It's gonna be everything. Okay y'all, so I'm not really sure where I left off because my mic's battery ran out, so I had to run around this apartment and try to find me a AAA battery. <laughs> but I think I might have been sharing a little bit more about the Hanifa sweater. I was able to get that at a slight discount on sale, but it does retail for roughly $140, which is relatively inexpensive in comparison to some of the other items on the site. But check it out if you haven't, if you're not familiar with Hanifa. I am looking forward to shopping more Hanifa as the seasons come and can't wait to see what she does in a couple of weeks at New York Fashion Week. A couple of things that I'll share very quickly that I got from Amazon include this Basics Gray Turtleneck. This is the Amazon Essentials turtleneck. I got it in gray, extra, extra large is the size. And I'm glad that I did go with that size because it fits phenomenally. Um, but that means that it is likely true to size or may run a little large. So just be mindful of that. I wanted to be sure that I had enough room in my arms and across the back without it like pulling or looking too snug. And it does not, it fits wonderfully as you're probably seeing on screen. I can't imagine that I paid more than 20 bucks for just that one alone and yeah, definitely looking forward to just layering it up under quite a few other pieces this winter. So you can see the turtleneck literally, but I'm keeping quite warm underneath all of the other layers. So that does it for my clothing items. Now we're going to move on to some other things that I grabbed from Amazon, which include these super bubble like sunglasses. Now y'all have probably seen this style by the popular brand Loewe. And these are a similar, I guess we'll say, <laughs> these are a similar pair of sunglasses, but y'all aren't they everything? Oh my God, such an affordable price. Cannot wait, can you just see that? They're such a statement piece. I can't wait to style these up, wear these. I have so many different ideas about what I want to do with this royal blue, especially like this accessory being such a pop. Like I might even wear it with the Hanifa Sia sweater. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all think that's a good idea because it could either go with that sneaker that I showed y'all, the Alele May Air Jordan 1s, the Zoom CMFT, I think, or CFMTs. Those could really look good in a pairing with this and the Sia sweater. But I also have so many, oh my God, I have so many other pieces, obviously, that I could just pop on blue as a color with and make it work. So those were about 12 or 13.99. You can get like a two pack for like 19.99. And of course, they're in my Amazon storefront link down below. Next up, which I'll jump into a couple of care items. I did grab these Philips One 
toothbrush heads y'all i love this toothbrush but i needed to re-up on my toothbrush heads i change mine out about every two to three months at the most and these are super affordable the brush itself was super affordable especially relatively to other brushes um, but i really like this one they're nice and probably about a medium in terms of the firmness or softness um, they feel really good against the teeth and do the job right get into the nooks and crannies of what you need to make sure that your breath don't stink okay <laughs> so i grabbed those those were about ten dollars or less they may have been like 6.99 or so but i needed to get them so i just went ahead and did just that now the next thing that i got which takes us into some of our beauty items include these sponges let's check them out so I grabbed these sponges. They are called the Triangle Powder Puff Makeup Tools. And they came a bunch in pack, as you can see here. And I'm so glad that I got these because I grabbed them right before my podcast shoot. And it just helped me to, you know, be sure that I wasn't extra oily while I was filming. So I took a Ziploc bag, filled it with a little bit of my Laura Mercier powder. And I just took this little like finger powder puff and just hit my T-zone where I typically get a little oil oily with some you know additional like powder to like keep me nice and mattified but not looking dry and I will say I'm not sure that these are the top quality when it comes to um, applying your makeup but certainly when it comes to just adding a, a bit of powder and just blotting a bit throughout the day like you know to touch up your makeup these definitely do the trick they are small they're lightweight obviously they're travel friendly and they were affordable i got about 10 or so for about 7.99 you can't beat that. So I did get that and I also got a myriad of other products from Ulta and Sephora. I got some primer. <laughs> I got some primer by Milk. I re-upped on my foundation and mascara. I got the LA Girl Pro Concealer, re-upped on my Duo. Um, got some new brushes, got my MAC spiked. Also tried this Anastasia Brow Gel, which I'm absolutely loving. Got a beauty blender and everything. And that just helped my makeup to sit flawlessly for shoot day for the podcast. I absolutely love these products. And I was quite surprised, I have to admit, about my shopping experience of purchasing and picking up in store via Ulta. I've got to tell you, previously in store, I haven't always had the best or most positive experiences as a customer, but this time was super super seamless and I got everything that I needed to be able to make a flawless face and baby that's all that matters so was able to get exactly what I needed from Ulta these items as well are all linked down below if you want to recreate the look that you saw from shoot day okay y'all my sincerest apologies if you are hearing a little bit of an audio change my mic is completely dead I have tried nine <laughs> different AAA batteries and baby, that thing said, mm-mm, mm-mm. The battery ain't strong enough, okay? I need a little more juice. But nonetheless, I did want to share with you some other beauty-esque items or care items, which are fragrances that I've recently been shopping for because chef's kiss. Now, there are four fragrances that I'm gonna share with you. And I actually bought two travel and two of the either one ounce or third of an ounce options for each of these. So let's get started with the first one. So first up is Jazz Club by Mason Margella, y'all. Oh, so good. If you are a deep and woodsy girl, if you like flirting with the line of cologne, but it's still a perfume, then this is definitely the scent for you. The Eau de Parfum smells so rich, so deep, so warm. And I feel like all of the replica fragrances do. So I have Autumn Vibes and I absolutely love that. I've had it for a couple of years now, but I had never tried Jazz Club until my mom and I were out shopping during the holiday season. And we both agreed that we love this one. We were supposed to be like, we thought to like get the larger jazz club and just split or like share, you know, wear each other's fragrances. But I went ahead and just got myself a little travel joint, you feel me? So <laughs> I absolutely love this scent though. It just smells so, <sighs> it smells so good. 
like I said, it's deep, it's woodsy. I'm not a girl that understands the top notes, the medium wear, the like base notes of a fragrance. There are so many amazing creators that are my favorites on this platform and others. And I'll have them listed down in the description box as well. But yeah, definitely worth the purchase. This was $30 at Sephora. You can't beat it. So even if you try it and you're not sure that you love it, if they don't have a tester for whatever reason in store, um, or maybe you're ordering or shopping online, this is worth the buy. It is just so good and layers really, really well. So I would put this on first and then I would say to add something that's maybe a little lighter, a little more airy, something that is perhaps a little fruity or the cotton candy-esque vibes, just something light. <laughs> I think it would really do well in tandem with another fragrance. So definitely loving my Mesa Margiela Replica Jazz Club, but that's not the only fragrance that I'm loving this season. The next one that I absolutely have fallen in love with all over again is a fragrance that I actually got in high school, could you believe? And I don't know what pulled me back to the memory of that scent, but I went looking all over the interwebs for it. It is this fragrance, Amour Amour by Cockerel. Now, y'all are probably like, hmm, never seen that. So this you may have seen in like a Target or a Walmart or just a really accessible store for fragrances, but I love, love, love this scent. It is fruity, but it's still sharp. And so while I wore it in high school, I probably was a little too young then to be wearing it. Maybe some of whatever the, the fruity notes are made it more age appropriate then, but now there's a sharpness that wears on me that I'm like, oh, it smells just so good and so sexy and so fun and vibrant and flirty that like it doesn't feel like an old fragrance if you know what I mean right like it, it feels very much like you could wear it in the year of our Lord 2023 <laughs> this is 30 milliliters or about an ounce of fragrance and it is an eau de toilette it does wear really really well and strongly so the sillage or like the long lasting fragrance that you're going to get from this particular one is good still smells very appropriate so i am loving this scent right now i believe this bottle cost me about 29.90 at nordstrom i was able to find it there shipping was obviously a breeze um, and I have been loving it ever since. So definitely one of my favorites, as you can see. Now we've got two more and I don't wanna spend too much time on them because the fragrance girls already do. They tell us over and over again that these are good fragrances. <laughs> so this one is another travel um, vial from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is La Belle. And I actually found this one out from Instagram and I went searching for it. And of course, all of the other amazing perfume and fragrance creators popped up over and over again saying, yes, 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 yes. It is my most complimented. If you want to smell good, if you want somebody sniffing your neck, like this is indeed the scent. And it just, it does smell really good. It is like sweet and there's some air about it. It is a sassy play up of maybe vanilla. I don't know. I'm guessing here, y'all. I don't really... I don't really do that, you know what I mean? Like, I know what smells good and what doesn't, but I can't tell you why it smells good or like what makes up the good fragrance, you feel me? <laughs> but try it out for yourself, y'all. This was, I believe, I, it may have been $50. I don't remember, but it's down in the description box. <laughs> I got this from Macy's and I, I'm loving it. It smells so good. I'm like, I know this doesn't help y'all. I wish y'all could uh, sniff. <laughs> through the screen, but it smells so good. Y'all just have to try it. And I haven't tried layering this particular scent, but maybe it would play well, but you don't need it to, because it stands by itself really, really nicely. Now, for whatever reason, perhaps it's because they share some of the same notes, this last fragrance, my mom actually said, smelled like the Amor Amor by Cockerel. And I was like, girl, you tweaking, like you tripping, tripping. But she was also trying to compare them off of her memory of Amor Amor before I got the actual fragrance, so. She was kind of off anyway, but not too much on Barb now. <laughs> so this is Prada Paradox, y'all. And oh my God, it, first off, isn't that just the cutest bottle? Love Prada. They gonna do everything with a triangle, aren't they? <laughs> but um, it is also super lightweight and there seems to be like a little bit of cotton candy or like, I don't know, something just bright and airy and it smells good and makes me feel like a lady. <laughs> 
I love this fragrance, but I do think it's one that I would find myself probably wearing in the springtime. So I might shelf this until the springtime so that I can truly get like my wear out of it then. But yeah, there's something in it that just that makes me believe that I should wait. Perhaps it's a little bit of florals or some type of, you know, floral note in it that has me thinking like, oh, this feels like spring, I'm not sure. But in either instance, I love it. This ran about $80 at Sephora, but I was so glad to have picked it up. It is the one ounce and it is an Eau de Parfum. So worth the purchase. If you are looking to get into fragrances, like I said, head down to the description box because I have linked some of my favorite fragrance goddesses, like the girls that know the things about smell good, <laughs> like any which way. And um, I'm happy to share other creators. If, if you all want a well-rounded approach to who you want to be stylistically or like how you want to show up as a person, because I know I'm helping over here on the style tip but when it comes to maybe luxury when it comes to travel when it comes to perfume and and fragrances and things and you know when it comes to fitness and, and health and wellness all of those practices like I am every woman but I ain't every woman right there are some some great creators who are doing those things and are niched in those areas where they are truly the experts so check them out as well I'm super happy to recommend them and on the health and wellness tip of course my good auntie Tabitha the brown put out a, another collection at target and i grabbed a couple of items these are not all of the items that i grabbed from her most recent launch but they are what i can show you in this moment they include what y'all saw me eating on earlier <laughs> these salt and vinegar cashews oh my god y'all they are so good you can see i done already put a dent in them like look at that Look at that. You can see how to put a den in the things because they're good. I got Barb this coffee cup, which she has not used yet. I'm so upset with her about it. And then I got this water bottle. I'm not sure if any of these, which is super good because I can get all my water in it. Um, I'm not sure if all of these items are still available at Target. Check your local location to see because they may still have some items available in store, even if they don't show up as available in the app or online okay so go support tabitha brown obviously you know get some things that help you to like be excited about your health and wellness and lastly the very last item that i'm sharing today is one that i actually haven't even unboxed myself so let's unbox it i've used this item before i've used it for now almost three years actually i think april but I needed a replacement. My Whoop replacement, which I'm super excited. I'm not sure if y'all know, but I have been a longtime user of the fitness wearable Whoop, so the Whoop strap, and I absolutely love it. Here it goes. So this little doohickey uh, actually helps you to know more about your body and its response and readiness to train and how to get the most out of your fitness efforts. So I'm really, really appreciative about that. It takes into account Count your recovery, your sleep metrics, your strain. So, you know, your cardiovascular effort, like how much effort are you putting into your workouts? What's your perceived effort versus what did you actually do? Or like, what does, you know, what is your body actually responding to? And then also like, did you get enough rest? Like right now, I don't even want to tell y'all the current time that I'm recording this video, but tomorrow my whoop will be like, uh-uh, not recovered, sleep, in the red right because i'm just not getting enough sleep and all of those things can contribute to your health and wellness right especially your physical health and if you are engaging in fitness to try to mitigate what could be like not so good physical health practices then that's definitely something that you should consider um, and this whoop strap is definitely something you should or could consider so this is what it looks like on and i know that it probably appears as though it is a little snug they actually encourage you to wear it quite snugly um, just about an inch or so um, away from your wrist bone just so that you can get the truest and like most 
accurate measure. So there are other places where you can wear the Whoop, but I just encourage y'all to check it out. I've left my referral link down in the description box as well. And I think like, if you just want to learn more about A, how your body is performing or like what your body is up to, you want more insights, this is a really, really cool way to do so. You don't have to be a super athlete. I am not to take advantage of just having more knowledge and more self-awareness about, you know, who you are, how you're performing and what your body can do. So I'm loving my Whoop strap. I'm so glad to have it back. I'm about to go get signed in right now and try it out. And I'm going to catch you all actually in the next video. But among those next few videos, hopefully will be a favorite. So while some of these are my favorites, there are some new products in this video. So we'll check out which ones actually did move over to the favorite side from my recent pickups. You feel me? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, girl. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.